Hello from Suffolk, England, where it's another fine and sunny day, and the wind looks like it will drop, making it a little warmer. The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof. Psalm 24, verse 1. It's Thursday, the 23rd of April, in the year of our Lord, 2020. And it's time for a dose of civilised calm to start your day. This is Mark Salmanac your regular respite from the madness of World War V, recorded in the peace of the English countryside. It was one of those days that you put away and remember, high on the downs, above her parents' farm. Tiffany Aching felt as though she could see to the end of the world. The air was clear as crystal, and in the brisk wind, the dead leaves from the autumn swirled around the ash trees as they rattled their branches to make way for the new spring growth. That's the opening of The Shepherd's Crown, the final novel of the late Sir Terry Pratchett and the 41st set in his Discworld. It is part of the Tiffany Aching series with their loving evocation of the chalk downlands and the books he said he would like to be remembered for. Today is St George's Day, patron saint of England since the 14th century. George was a member of the elite Praetorian Guard for the Roman Emperor Diocletian, and was martyred on this day 1,717 years ago for refusing to recant his faith in Christ crucified. Legend of the Dragon was added in the 11th and 12th centuries. In these legends, his lance was named Ascalon, the name Sir Winston Churchill used for his personal aircraft, during World War II. Today is also the day when William Shakespeare died in 1616, aged 52, and by tradition, also the day he was born in 1564. He was baptised three days later. Here's a poem, The Glory of the Garden, by Rudyard Kipling. Our England is a garden that is full of stately views, of borders, beds and shrubberies, and lawns and avenues, with statues on the terraces and peacocks strutting by. But the glory of the garden lies in more than meets the eye. For where the old thick laurels grow along the thin red wall, you'll find the tool and potting sheds which are the heart of all, the cold frames and the hot houses, the dung pits and the tanks, the rollers, carts and drain pipes with the barrows and the planks. And there you'll see the gardeners, the men and prentice boys, told off to do as they are bid, and do it without noise. For except when seeds are planted and we shout to scare the birds, the glory of the garden, it abideth not in words. And some can pot begonias, and some can bud a rose, and some are hardly fit to trust with anything that grows. But they can roll and trim the lawns and sift the sand and loam. For the glory of the garden occupieth all who come. Our England is a garden, and such gardens are not made by singing, Oh, how beautiful, and sitting in the shade, while better men than we go out and start their working lives at grubbing weeds from gravel paths with broken dinner knives. There's not a pair of legs so thin, there's not a head so thick, there's not a hand so weak and white, nor yet a heart so sick, but it can find some needful job that's crying to be done. For the glory of the garden glorifieth every one. Then seek your job with thankfulness, and work till further orders, if it's only netting strawberries or killing slugs on borders, And when your back stops aching and your hands begin to harden, you will find yourself a partner for the glory of the garden. Oh, Adam was a gardener, and God who made him sees that half a proper gardener's work is done upon his knees. So when your work is finished, you can wash your hands and pray for the glory of the garden, that it may not pass away. And the glory of the garden, it shall never pass away. That's almost all for today. 
If you know anyone who could use a touch of calm, do please share this. If you need some music to wake up to, how about The Making of a Man by Steel Eye Span from their album Wintersmith, based on another of Terry Pratchett's Tiffany Aching novels. A man has strength enough to build a home, and time enough to hold a child, and love enough to break a heart. Until tomorrow, stay civilised, keep calm, and please keep washing your hands. Have a lovely day.